and i'm very delightful to be part of this uh, organization uh, welcome all uh, my name is uh, venkat dinesh tendapurthi uh, just uh, a small brief i just want to tell about my innovation here ma'am if you permit um, yeah. we all know that uh, education has so many different streamings as we have been learning as you know virtual mode after covid before that we have been going to the classes we have offline classes online classes after that we have youtube sessions uh, we have virtual summits over there uh, this is one more method of learning from our gurus or maybe from our sharing our ideas to our delightful friends over here through one more medium called podcasting podcasting just a small introduction about podcasting after that i i want to share my journey and how i i have uh, done this and after that at last i want every one of you to know that how you can also start a podcasting like uh, if you permit like last 5 minutes i want every one of you to open your own podcasting it's very simple it's very simple to to, to make that so first uh, covid has disrupted the whole complete life cycle of particularly education sector right is india is a you know young developing country there are so many students over here but before covid our budget on education is very small hardly less than 2% 2.5% 3.1% okay uh one constraint i have observed from past you know 60 years as said by the kotari commission on long back almost 65% of the gdp on education is no expend or uh, no uh, done expenditure and only on teacher salaries that's that's not wrong that's not wrong because they are the building blocks of this uh, country but only 35 to 20 to 35% is spent on the building infrastructure administration innovation and research and development so we have a constraint on research and development particularly to express our views after covid so i have found out podcast is a method or, or say a, a medium where we can express our knowledge or the existing books that can be converted into an audio podcast or audio books and express what we thought in a simple and lucid and very very low cost manner of course low cost low cost means it has some constraints i'll accept that because it is an audio medium because uh, one once i am expressing my expressions through visual you have one idea of what i am doing if i just close my video and you know if i express what i am making it will have certain a small negative impact of course but how to overcome that what exactly is a podcast how a visual podcast in the stream of education can also be done in a formal education and also a complete education and anyone can of you anyone of you can start a podcast this is what i'll be dealing today and uh, as i said you after covid uh, i just want to make a small presentation over here and after that uh, I think you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Yes, uh, I just want to make a small introduction about podcasting because podcasting is very nascent medium to uh, to Southeast Asian people because we all have been habituated to uh, you know uh, FM radios or YouTube channels or Instagram reels or maybe you know virtual classrooms in Zoom or maybe Google Meet like what we have doing right now or maybe in an offline class. plus but podcasting i just want to share you know as introduction about podcasting i think if you see the screen there is nothing over here right i have started my podcast from this like complete blank because when i was failed for upsc for years together like almost uh, spending 7 8 uh, years of my career in upsc i have failed and after being a good engineer but i have not made in upsc then i thought there are some mistakes which i made in upsc preparation so on one day while i was in a teaching field two students came to me they said we are they are visually challenged people uh, they are not able to join any of the institution because of the restrict uh, no, restraints then i thought uh, I, i what i'll do is i make an audio class right uh, just 2 minutes of this blank screen i want to explain you there's 2 minutes uh, i mean no uh, there is complete uh, Uh, of course they are visually challenged i cannot see you i cannot see anyone but i need to knowledge i need to gain the knowledge then i thought audio book can be a viable method i used to record whatever i said in class and i used to give them then over a period of time communication gap has been created then i thought i have to use a technology so that even a visually challenged person can come out of its you know challenge and can get an access to education then i thought you know podcasting can be the best method 
right with uh, whatever i used to speak in class i used to record i used to store in a, a simple url link uh, with uh, what i have created called podcasting and with a simple command they can they can they can take their phone and they can say hey google play xyz podcast hey alexa no uh simple simple command hey google hey siri Oh, hey Alex. These are the technologies that every phone has. Every phone has any every Android phone or every a smart speaker has. So what I have done was convert an an a book a book into an audio book. Of course, while converting there are certain rights, there are certain limitations. So I used to do a gist of the book. Right, uh, outrightly converting a book is not a viable method, and it is not a legal method also. So a gist can always be done, right? Because it is our perspective that what we infer from that particular book. right i think you know one of the biggest constraint in india is the internet speed why i am telling that internet that particular thing in this field of education is after covid everyone has been shifted to youtube education zoom education or maybe you know google meet education uh maybe in urban areas we may get faster internet speed but in the rural villages or say in the remotest parts uh, uh, like in eastern ghats or in western ghats or maybe in the tribal areas or remote areas the speed is you know 2 mbps 3 mbps and an average itself is 12 mbps uh, then obviously imagine the speed in the remotest areas so with just 1 mb file 2 mb file 3 mb file he can get access to the complete one hour of education that is that is through podcast right that is what i just want to tell you one thing one thing before going like podcast is not something like a uh, it uh, with one simple image i want to show you it is like a netflix show or maybe an amazon show where you have different uh, shows in that different seasons different episodes right in a netflix or an amazon same way in podcast you can produce different shows in different shows different seasons different seasons different topics as if in one subject different chapters in different chapters different uh, are say various uh, uh, topics and subjects same like netflix show right half you have to approach to this podcast because podcast is not uh, something that you need a big setup or an amplifier or a decoder or a great mics and you know complete foam medium or lightings and there is no nothing about that in simple amazon music which app you you may listen songs yes you can listen to podcast over there even in amazon you can in the amazon website you can listen that in paytm you can listen that in spotify you can listen in google podcast in all the streaming platforms that is very much easy to you you can listen to that podcast so uh, why i have chosen this because after failing in multiple attempts in upsc i thought monday to friday i have to work i have to run for money but saturday sunday is not a time that i have to run for money i have to help people who are not able to particularly get this access to costly education because i think you guys uh, you people know about how costly the education particularly in the competitive exams is particularly exam like upsc like one of the second most difficult exam in the world yes uh, we have various uh, universities to give us uh, low cost education like igno for formal education but what about competitive ex- uh, examination so then i thought i have to you know conduct some free classes i have to conduct uh, uh, i have to i have been gathering people over various parts and i used to go there and give lectures to various districts in particularly parks and or uh, you know open parks and all then i thought podcasting can be a good medium where sitting in one part of the city or one part of a village i can communicate through all the places right so yes that have been worked that have been even recognized as when i got the best teacher award so uh, this is how we produce a podcast the civil podcast the podcast for civil services the first podcast for civil services in the whole india why i have said this podcast is this is a, a you know a archaeological site i have been doing documentary over a period of time after spending years of you know uh, days and days of uh, research in youtube when i uploaded it i got hardly 100 views i mean i was very disappointed i have uploaded the same in podcast in youtube uh, it was like just 1 minute uh, less than 30 seconds is the average retention time but in podcast they have been continuously listening even without the visual representation for more than you know 40 minutes then i thought the visual representation is a negative thing in a podcast but but the retention time or the connectivity between the host and the guest or the host and the listener is very much high very much high in a podcast 
So any, you know, every documentary cannot be a great documentary like Sony, BBC or maybe National Geography. A small scale, small, small documentaries can also be, you know, uh, enhanced or made it to the listener through podcasting. So even documentaries can also be made through podcasting. So this is even recognized in Joe's talks in uh, in Telugu. Now, uh, you may think that podcasting maybe after 10 years it may come to indian market our education system is already you know having so much amount of changes we are not ready to change our education system through podcasting yes you may say that we all have a dilemma that americans are 10 years ahead of the ahead of us in terms of podcasting yes okay i mean say in terms of education yes that may be true in some aspects but even now they american schools american colleges now have been converting their complete education system into podcasting yes because in uh, maybe in covid or after covid or say during covid people have been traveling so you no know, uh, in cars or say in public places or maybe sitting in homes doing their household chores and all podcast while listening or maybe while doing their uh, works it can be heard or maybe you know doing their clothing or say doing their household things or do, even even cooking that right? they can listen to the podcast and there are so many schools the like kentucky school uh, buffalo university georgia schools in so many places they have been giving training to the colleges and universities and teachers how to start a podcast particularly for education right because they thought that is making a great change in the like in the see for example simple logic i'm telling you if i give one hour lecture right in a topic of you know uh, introduction to international relations or ukraine crisis right now what is happening you know maybe if i give one hour lecture in a video after 10 minutes or 15 minutes you may skip that video because in video you like to uh, see the content which is so you know so catchy to your eyes but in podcast it's not like that with low production values just uh, the the you know uh, just closing your eyes or doing your work you can get all the knowledge that has been done almost 60 to 70% you can get that in your brain that is that has been proved only after proving in the international arena all the international schools have been converting into podcast that is what i just want to uh, tell you guys yes before before this uh, uh before this i want to going i i just i want to go into the topic of podcasting and how uh, it has been done i want to tell as a, as you know uh, how i have chosen as podcasting right as i said you have been giving free lectures and free you know uh, of course uh, in our, in our india everything is getting costly i think you guys know that but at least i uh, respect article 21a of indian constitution where uh, at least to some people free education has to be given there are so many faculties there are so many persons who want to share their knowledge but if they want to share their knowledge they have to either go to youtube they have to build their own studio but money money is like you know one of the factor that is not making them to go for the next step to for, for the for the you know, uh, on it is only there on paper but you know it is not going to on visible right this podcast can be you know uh, can remove that barrier and everyone even a housewife even a small child of 10 years or 15 years who wants to share his knowledge can also start a podcast and share his knowledge to the world because we don't know that only see to start a, a youtube studio you need certain investment a large camera maybe a green screen like this and a lighting and all those stuff which which need minimum like minimum requirement of cost right maybe like 1 lakh or 50000 not you no know, that cost but podcasting doesn't need that much with the same influence right with the in in some cases more influence so see for example catchy videos are different or educational videos are completely different if i if i am making a political theory or you know uh, some philosopher videos in ethics or maybe uh, some videos regarding constitution or some con- no some uh, schemes of which government of india made or what are the advantages that we have a technical because no uh, technical concepts which need one hour one and a half hour of education or one and a half hour of uh, content podcasting can be the best output that is what i have proven with my upsc radio that is what i want to tell you what i have done in upsc radio is uh, first i have started this as a hobby right after realizing that i can earn money out of it yes every one of you can also earn certain sufficient amount of money out of the podcast i'll i'll, I'll tell you that how 
I have started this as a hobby, like weekend, uh, like one uh, two hours spending. I used to do a small research, right? How what is happening right now? What is the policy of government? What is the policy of uh, you know surrounding countries around us? What is the you know what is happening exactly uh, in in the opposition government or maybe in the ruling or what is the policies that has been made? I used to uh, read that. I used to you know go out the podcast. Okay. Yes. After that. a day on day day of the day on the number of listeners like first i used to get 5 to 6 listeners 10 15 500 1000 2000 2000 they keep on increasing it's not about number game like we have in youtube it's not about number game even it can be 10 listeners they will listen almost 45 to 50% of your content they consume your content and they make a relationship with you that is what in an entrepreneurship even brands need that because in youtube marketing they always try to place their ad in the first 10 seconds or first 15 seconds so that only 10 seconds of the content is consumed by the uh, a, a, you know a listener after that i don't want i don't know what your youtube youtube video is that is what i want but in podcast a one hour video a one hour podcast audio can be divided as two to three slots and in each slot you can place an ad where every one of you as a hobby can generate revenue and i am an example of that i think you know uh, in india one of the biggest educational for- platforms is an academy one of the yes an academy and now they have been doing investment in i mean to say they are placing their ad in my podcast and that's a proof that yes with a hobby right uh, a hobby doesn't always mean just reside as a hobby we can make that into a business we can convert that into an you know entrepreneurship yes we can do that and podcasting with a low minimum investment just just what is it? i'll tell you i'll tell you how investments can be done and what an, a low scale podcast high scale podcast yes people have been spending lakhs also i'm not telling that podcast every podcast is a simple podcast there are certain la- levels there are certain standards and how i will tell you how we can make that but what i have produced is a minimal level podcast right hardly 800 rupees for a mic and a small free software which you used to get like audacity and a little bit of uh, editing knowledge that is that can be learned from a youtube like within if you sit for 2 to 3 hours that can be done with this you can earn money of course i am not false promising that everyone of us can earn money of course that depends on what is your content what is the relevance of your content is is, is this your content uh, a monologue show or maybe a show which is uh, which where two people can talk or a group of people we can talk and debate depending upon that the length of the podcast depends and the ad placement also depends on that yes we can generate revenue from a podcast that is what i have proven from a simple hobby yes you can generate you know you can, I, uh, i won't say that you will become a businessman from a podcast but you can earn money about that and the fundamental problem that we have in the online education i think you might have seen we have uh, before we used to have only youtube videos now we have instagram reels youtube shorts the consumption content of the people have been reduced hardly 10 seconds if 10 seconds the video is not good i'll skip i'll skip i'll skip this is what the habit have been become i'm worried that this habit is uh, it's not worried it's true that this habit is reflected in the online videos also for example uh, there are so many institutions have been spending lakhs and crores of rupees for making a great uh, with with great uh, you know experience faculties they are big, making videos we feel that no that's boring that's not interactive i want to skip that this habit has become you know in youtube videos yes this is this is true uh, this is an undeniable fact if the same faculty is before you and he's explaining even for 2 hours we keep on listening to him because that much interesting the topic is but in online we often do deviate now we will be seeing one video there will one more notification comes in youtube or there is one more video about uh, comedy show or about, about big boss we get deviated but in podcast just keep your earphones and do your walking do your do your of course uh, uh, i mean to say your not driving in through earphones but at least in the radio in in the particular car you can do you can listen and continue your work and this has yes you can do that you can do that and uh, you can listen to the content you can generate the content while you're doing your work and you can generate revenue while doing your work itself that is what i thought uh, can be done and i have proved it yes it can be done so uh, i hope i have made a little bit about what is a podcast what and all right so if you have any uh, particular doubts i can i can clarify after that i can go to the next content what i want to share about like uh, what is the mode of a podcast and all 
Mr. Dinesh, would, we would like you to continue your talk and after that we can have a nice discussion. Thank sure, you. sure, sure. I think you again you can see this. Uh, the podcast today is where seventy seven percent of all Indians who can listen to podcast on their mobile phones mostly while traveling from one place to other place. right? We often have a habit of listening to the FM radios. In FM radios, we have a you know a limitation where we should not give news, we should not give one sided or two sided opinion about political parties or we cannot comment upon uh, politicians or the policies. While spending lakhs of rupees, crores of rupees on licensing and build up in studio, how can, how do you think they will generate a content which is of knowledge oriented? Obviously, they will can they will generate a content of entertainment oriented songs gap without, without even getting a gap song by song, song by song. But that constraint that you have in FM radio, you don't have that in a podcast radio. Right? That is one thing I want to tell you. So. Almost you can see 51% believe that there is you no know, uh, much visual stimulation. And think about audio uh, podcasting, right? In audio podcasting, 51% of, uh, as, per the, as per the survey, you know, 50, uh, uh, by Spotify, 51% of the people think even through audio medium also, we can get or we can get maximum amount of knowledge. So 51% thinks, majority thinks that yes, it can be done. And 81% have taken action as a result of listening to audio ads during a podcast. So it is very much good point for an entrepreneur or a business model that whoever are listening in a podcast, they have remembered the ad also. So that for people who wants to place their ad, this point or this survey can be an example. Yes, this podcast is the best business model. I'm not saying that stop all the activities you have all resign to your jobs and stop all the stuff that you're doing and concentrate on podcast. No, just one hour a week, just spend on the podcast, maybe two hours. It depends upon how uh, well reliable you are. Just spend a little bit of time where you chit chat your friends, the same chit chat you do on a simple mic and you can generate much following you can share your content of course if everything is good you can share your you, you can generate your revenue too that's about podcast and as i said you uh, the strength of a podcast is like you know active listening that is what i have experienced right when uh, i have compared myself when i'm making videos in youtube hardly retention time is very low even views are also not so great but i'm making same you know, uh, same classes in a park, in a public park where it is not, it's, it's completely free. So people used to come, they used to listen, they used to listen to my content, they used to go. But podcasting, whatever I'm getting in podcasting is what same I'm getting in a park where they can ask me doubt. Of course, in podcasting, it is a one-way one, one way communication. But they can ask your doubts through audios. In the same podcast, they can, they can ask your doubts. We can, we can keep a small link over there. They can ask their doubts and you can counter their doubts in the next session or the next podcast, right? And one of the biggest advantages is high retention time. So you have great, you know, you have so much amount, ample amount of knowledge you want to give to that, your, your audience, but you may not do it, right? but you can do it in a podcast. Of course, uh, we, in, in India, we have a limited uh, uh, talk radio, uh, let's say a talk radio culture. That's very limited. We, we may not be aware that, uh, as I said, one of the biggest uh, barrier, we don't even know what is a podcast is. Right? In Western countries, people don't listen to music. They listen to pop music only in parties. The remaining day in their commuting or maybe daily work, they often listen to podcast. Yes, that's true. Because of this only, I don't, I don't want to compare any country here, India to, with the USA, India with the Sweden, India with Denmark. But the students over there are much knowledge because they have been listening to the podcast instead of music, instead of, uh, you know, FM radios. Yes, that's true. That's the reason that FM radios, once upon a time, like 10 years below the line, we have almost 130 stations in California. Now we have almost 50 stations in California and more than lakhs of podcasts in the same city, in every city. Right? That is That is possible. And this is just a graph to show that podcasting is not a vague medium and uh, it is having some relevance. Uh, just to uh, you know, five minutes more of presentation, I want to show that it is not a vague medium. It is not from, from a thin air. I can make some podcast, you know, some concepts and uh, I'll, I'll just throw to the open air. It's not about that. So we have uh, maximum audience as male and 
major you know, minority 30% as female but uh, this can be you know uh, when when a woman as i mean to say when a housewife can generate her own podcast right this graph may change this graph will change it's not mentioned it will change so from past 2 to 3 years we can see 479% growth in users it means that it is percolating into the medium it is percolating into you know the indian markets very fast and we have to grab this opportunity it's not about entrepreneur opportunity even it can be through you know uh, the way we want to express either it can be any case as you can see in the daytime monday and uh, tuesday we have low retention i mean to say low audience but in thursday we have high audience i think you know from tuesday the actual work starts monday we will be having this monday phobia saturday sunday ka uh, delay will be there in monday so from tuesday wednesday thursday friday these four days are the active days and the, in these four days people have been listening highest content okay so why i'm saying you all this stuff is we have a phenomena that podcast or taking a mobile phone is entertainment no a mobile phone is not entertainment we have so much amount of knowledge that can be shared from a small as i said apps it's a wink it can be a google podcast or amazon music or you know can be any any app we can get into the particular stuff through education also right of course uh, once upon a time only in few cities podcast used to be there but uh, after covid it has been spread to tie two and tie three cities right this is the uh, you know audience demographics how podcast has been percolated into indian markets right and connecting with the podcast audience why i am saying you this is this is what i have gone through a year or uh, two years back a uh, two years back right and then this made me to think that a podcast is not a medium which is a vague and because of the interest because of the behavior change of the people i want to connect to the podcast as you can see no uh, we have uh, humor shows we have subject expert shows we have there are so many shows in the podcast it can be motivational shows it can be educational shows it can be you know uh, lecturer shows there are so many shows which can be appealing for all ages because youtube may not be appeal for certain content certain age population now after even if you cross certain age it may not be appealing for everyone but podcast is not like that even for children for adult for maybe you know young and uh, for everyone podcast can be a, a probable tool and i'm giving this lecture this i mean this particular slides because podcasting is new to india and you should know what is a what opportunities you have as a podcast yes uh, i'll tell you no uh, i i already told you what made me to inspire about this podcast but i want everyone of you to uh, no i want to spend 10 minutes of my time to understand what is a podcaster so that's the reason i'm making it we have so many branded content also in podcasting i mean to say it's not just a hobby the level of percolation of the podcast has been made to the highest level even shows like asian pains and sony has also being about to start a podcast uh, in the in the, in the very, uh, already started and few have been about to start and if you are a single person yes you can start a monologue show if you and your friend has to talk and debate yes there is a conversational shows in a podcast you can choose that you know ideal time uh, can be 25 to 30 minutes if it is an interview mode where a person comes and you want to get his own experiences where a host and uh, interview person will be there 45 minutes is what a uh, average time we can spend and there is a panel also where like two to three people will be debating discussion and sharing their views and all uh, it can be single host it can be double host also but there uh, the time depends upon uh, how you can generate your content and distribution this is very much in, you know very much everyone has to know in jio savan in gana in spotify in youtube also you can make this you know in cashbox in paytm in amazon music right and you can as i said you can build your own podcast through anchor app yes you can you can do that you can get started the anchor there is a uh, button where you can make your own podcast with a small google uh, account also you can make your own podcast right with just as i said you a simple amount of 700 rupees can make you to you know uh, convert your passion into revenue right so this is what i just want to make about podcasting as a medium i mean to say uh, as a method uh, where or uh, what exactly is a podcast right so now after listening to this and after uh, uh, i think i have this has been conveyed to you now uh, i just want to tell you that 
in india we have so much amount of money that has been spent on maybe say e vidya program or innovation teaching or online uh, you know uh, uh, online tvs or radios right but uh, after covid almost 1.5 school uh, no uh, schools have been completely closed 1.5 million schools because of that 247 million students have been directly impacted and they could not go to schools we have seen there are so many students committed even suicide because they have been very much away from the uh, you know you know the communication or say costly tabs or maybe laptops that they couldn't offer i have seen uh, i couldn't bring the uh, you know paper cuttings over here but this is a fact even everyone of us know that they have been you know outsourced from the uh, formal education in this juncture because india is not a single country like like japan like korea it is not a single homogeneous culture we have various languages various cultures various you know uh, remotest parts in urban parts in urban parts we have all the comforts but in the remotest parts we don't have all the comforts so in that medium also like add podcast as an existential medium to one of your delivery i mean to say it can be youtube you may deliver through youtube you may deliver through zoom you may deliver through podcast i mean uh, uh, google meet add podcast as a simple medium so that it can be reaching to the remotest parts also and you know um, uh, that reducing the burden of uh, fastest internet speed that being a barrier this podcasting has covered that gap over there and that gap can generate revenue also in the in the arena of your travel in the, in the arena of your uh, uh, delivering delivering your knowledge or maybe delivering your content right this is not just for the school for anyone for anyone it can be for anyone right even a person uh, a person uh, like you know uh, a small person like you know be, uh, below 10th class or maybe say 5th 6th standard student also can start a podcast this is uh, what i just want to discuss with you and as i said in terms of generating revenue yes because every idea has to end up in generating revenue if not this idea is just i won't say vague idea it is just in a you know uh, in a cloud we want to convert the cloud into precipitation only then we can use of it right so as i said uh, you have to generate a little bit amount of an active listeners how you can do that through how you communicate right you have to talk not just to an open air uh, you have to talk like uh, you know like one, because only one person generally one person listens to your podcast you know he may say that hey google open upsc radio podcast and he will be listening keeping earphones because the nature of the podcast is keeping earphones or headphones while walking or maybe say like you know in a gym he will be doing you have to communicate him as you i'm talking to you i'm talking to you like it is not like an open air the society is like this the society is like that no instead of like, like you know open talk you have to specify him you can change or, or say i'm talking to you in that case there is a high probability of retention right i'm just telling you uh, you know it, it's not a tip but uh, experience what i experience i have made in the podcast is like it has to be pinpoint to one person or maybe a group of persons because the advent as a podcast is uh, for example uh, a youtube is a general medium right in youtube we have various channels and each channel can have a specific targets and each and everything same thing as you have in a podcast right you may be a political science student you may be international relations expert or you may have a relevant data on particular local problem which is there in your area you can create a arena of uh, listeners in your own local area right like each constituency can do that every student can do it, can do that every business person can do that so addressing or generating your own fan base in your own area that is the advantage of a podcast you have yes because what podcast i made is a is a telugu market particularly telugu market of the two states of uh, no andhra and telangana from there i have narrowed it only to the persons who are listening to upsc after that i have narrowed it down only to the persons who want to you know uh, cs clear upsc for the one particular year right again i have converted that to you know i have taken one book it's an india year book that has been publi- you know, published by government of india ministry of information and broadcasting what well, that book one example i just want to tell you that book is very bulky book almost 4 450 pages book and with a you know harsh english like in you know, british accent english it's very difficult to cut, to read that book from a remotest part of a telugu uh, i mean to say because uh, i have ex- done experiment in this particular digital language uh it that book cannot be read in the you know particular language so i have converted i have read that book completely 
I've analyzed that book and I have made that book as a podcast because I'm not, I have not reproduced that book. If I reproduce the book, we have legal issues, we have copyright issues, we have so many issues. But if well, the book, no, the reviews of the book, as we can see, I have started like in the first chapter, the book said, you know, the person said, or it was there in the particular book as it says, right? So that uh, the complete book I can convert. Like if you want to read a 450, 500 pages book of, no, I don't say boring, but you know, contextual or about uh, uh, technicalities of Indian, how Indian system works, how government works, it may take more than two to three months. Right, but I have done. Leave about my time. How much I am doing it? I have I have read that book, so it took me one and a half month. So I have converted that into an audio podcast. It took me more than one month. But to a listener, for you, you can complete the book from my point of view with just four hours. The complete book, which audio, which I have made in four hours, you can consume the whole topic. That is advantage because to read an educational book or a biology book of class nine or class ten or a geography book or maybe a political theory of NCRT book, it 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 looks like you know I have to spend one uh, complete week or complete month. But if a teacher has the capacity to convert that into a podcast within two to three hours, the complete book can be get into your brains or say the nascent brains within two to three hours. That is one more advantage of a podcast of converting in physical book into an audio format. That is what uh, I have found out and I have done these two experiments over here.